Hello Capricorn, Sun Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Capricorn, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Capricorn currently view this relationship? All right, Capricorn. So we do have the um, Two of Cups. We have the uh, Wheel of fortune as well as the lovers out here the bottom of the deck we do have the ten of wands and then we also have the ten of cups it kind of looks like things are starting to drastically improve here between you and this person that you currently find yourself um connecting with that's one thing that i am definitely getting strongly is that your relationship with this person it's drastically starting um to improve it kind of looks like you know for a while things have been you know very rocky uh, between you and this person. It kind of looks like for a while this relationship has been very burdensome. I am definitely getting that. Um, possibly, you know, just for you um, or maybe even for the both of you. Maybe this relationship for the both of you started to become very overwhelming um, and very burdensome for the both of you. That's definitely a possibility. But I feel like something's happening here between you and this person um, that's, that's causing a complete 180 to transpire here within this connection, but in a very, very positive way, not in a negative way. It just kind of looks like things are getting 10 times better um, between you and this person. It's kind of what I'm getting. I want to look at the Wheel of Fortune. Tell you more about the Wheel of Fortune. All right, we have the Seven of Swords, we got the uh, Two of Pentacles, um, and then we also have the uh, World out here. I really, really like this. I really, really like this um, because I kind of feel like in the past, history was constantly repeating itself here between you and this person over and over and over and over again, and it kind of looks like that's finally coming to an end. You guys are finally getting out of a vicious cycle with one another. So let's say for perfect example in the past, um, you know, all the two of you guys ever did was fight and argue with one another and not see eye to eye on a bunch of things. I don't see you guys experiencing that anymore. Uh, let's just say that in the past, you guys were very on and off with one another. I don't see that happening anymore. Like, again, you guys are getting out of a very, very vicious cycle here with one another. Is basically what I'm getting. And the fact that you guys are getting out of this vicious cycle here with one another, um, it's drastically improving your relationship with one another. It's uh, I'm also kind of getting like an overall energy of you guys doing something together. Like, um, I don't know, like uh, deciding to purchase a home together, uh, deciding to get married, deciding to bring a child into this world. Like, I am getting an energy of you guys starting a whole new chapter. And this whole new chapter... It's bringing the two of you closer. It's making your bond with one another stronger is kind of what I'm getting. Because as you guys are leaving this vicious cycle here behind, you guys are starting a brand new one. And whatever it is that you guys are doing within your relationship here, it's drastically improving things here between the two of you is basically what I'm getting. Okay. <clears throat> I'm also getting a lot of excitement off of the both of you. I'm also kind of getting that. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of excitement here off of the both of you. So again, you guys could very well be deciding to purchase a home together, your first home um, at that with one another. You guys could very well be deciding to get married. You guys could very well be deciding to bring a child into this world. Um, I am definitely getting that um, for some of you out there. How does this person currently view their relationship with Capricorn? Okay. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Wands, and then we also have the King of Swords. You could be dealing with a Virgo, possibly an Aquarius, maybe even a Fire Sign strongly. So an Aries, Leo, maybe even a Sag. Doesn't necessarily have to be the case. I want to look at this Ace of Wands before I say anything. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. Mm. Okay, I like this. I like this a lot. There's an overall energy of your person feeling like things are finally heading in the right direction here. 
I keep getting a bunch of excitement off of you and this person, but yeah, they kind of finally feel like this relationship is finally heading in the right direction, which is something that they've been wanting for quite some time here, which is kind of making me feel like maybe, you know, your relationship with this person in the recent past was very toxic, was very stable, was very chaotic. Um, and if that, you know, was the case, I feel like they've been wanting for things to get better. I feel like they've been wanting for things to essentially improve here. Um, between the two of you. Now with the king of pentacles to the two of wands to the ace of cups coming out here. It's interesting because as things are starting to balance itself out, right? Within this relationship between the two of you. Which like I said, that's something that this person has been wanting for quite some time. There's an overall energy of them wanting to take things a step further with you. Even more. It's kind of what I'm getting. Uh, so let's say for a perfect example, I don't know, like you guys are choosing to go off and purchase a home together. Um, you know, the next thing that they want to do within this relationship is, you know, go off and make things official with you, like, you know, propose to you, things of that nature. Like there's just an energy of them wanting to take things a step further with you even more is kind of what I'm getting. So yeah, it's like, but I feel like that's what they've been waiting for. I feel like this person, this is weird, because I feel like this person has been waiting for things to balance itself out within this relationship to turn around and do something else with you. Something that they've been wanting to do with you. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting. Uh, let me look at the uh, Ace of Cups. Tell you more about the Ace of Cups. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. We have the um, Ace of Cups. We also have the uh, Seven of Wands. Yeah, they're very they're very crystal clear on what their heart wants. Anytime you see the Ace of Cups right next to the Seven of Cups, it just basically represents somebody who's very crystal clear on what their heart wants. They're very crystal clear that you are what they want. With the Seven of Wands to the Seven of Cups coming out here, I don't feel like they want absolutely anyone else but you. They're very dead set on you and what they basically want with you. Like I said, dude, like I feel like they've been waiting for things to get better between the two of you. So that way they can turn around and do something else. Like, I don't know, propose to you, um, you know, that could very well be the case, you know, that could very well be the case. But yeah, as you guys are starting this whole new chapter here with one another and they're starting to kind of notice like okay like things are looking good around here you know what i mean it's causing them to want to go as far as to take things a step further uh with you is, is kind of what i'm getting and it's stemming from a place of them essentially knowing because whatever it is that they plan on doing next it, it, it's something that i keep wanting to say this it's something that they've been wanting to do but it's also something they've been holding off on doing due to how things have been as of lately. I know that me describing their energy, it sounds very vague um, in regards to like what they could very well be referring to, but it could have a lot to do with the proposal. You know, that's definitely, you know, a possibility. How does this person feel? All right. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Why do I? I feel like this person is trying to pick your brain before they go off and do. Yeah, it's interesting because I feel like this person is trying to pick your brain. It's like they're trying to figure out, like, how would you respond and react towards them doing X, Y, and Z? You know what I mean? It's like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here because, again, there's an overall energy, right? of them wanting to take things a step further with you even more because they see things kind of starting to balance itself out here within their relationship with you. And I feel like they're trying to kind of like pick your brain just to kind of get a rough idea of how you would respond and react if they were to propose to you. Would you turn around and say yes? Would you turn around and say no? That's kind of what I'm getting primarily. Let me look a little bit more into this. Tell me more about the uh, Empress. Don't fall, please. Okay. Tell me more about the Empress. Ugh. 
Okay. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. This person knows that they're very crystal clear on who they want and what they want, which is basically you um, and happily ever after with you. But there's times, Capricorn, where you've essentially made this person in the past essentially feel um, like they're not good enough for you. There's times where in the past you've essentially made this person feel like you can go off and find someone 10 times better than them. Um, it is basically what I'm, I'm getting, okay? Uh, so with that being said, I feel like this is them, for one, trying to figure out, like, do you really want to be with them like you say you do? Can you honestly picture um, you spending the rest of your life with them like you say you do or not, you know, the, again, there's an energy of them wanting to take things a step further with you. And with the hair font coming out here, yes, this could totally represent, you know, marriage. Okay. Um, that they're trying to do next with you, but see their whole thing is they know they want to marry you. They know that they want to spend the rest of their life with you, but do you? Um, and I feel like the only reason why they're kind of like questioning if that's honestly something that you really want is that if that's honestly something you can see yourself doing is because in the past, it kind of looks like you've probably told them something along the lines of, I could find somebody better than you. Or maybe in the past you've told this person, um, something that would lead them to essentially think they're not good enough for you. Cause I am definitely getting that. I am definitely getting that. So I am more about the Four of Cups. Ugh, okay. Uh, we have the Three of Cups. We have the uh, Ace of Cups. And then we also have the Justice card out here. Yeah, when it comes down to them, like, how do I, how do I explain this? When it comes down to them wanting to take things a step further with you, let's just say, for example, you know, this person's thinking about proposing to you. Let's just say, for perfect example, that's what this person wants to do next with you because it kind of feels like that's exactly what they want to do next with you, okay? The reason why they feel the need that they have to kind of pick your brain and just kind of see where your head is at is because there's times, like I said, where you make this person feel, think, and believe like you want to spend the rest of your life with them. But there's times where you make this person think, believe, and feel like you don't. And there's also times where you make this person feel like they're not good enough for you. And there's times where you make this person feel like you can go off and find someone 10 times better than them. So before they come in and try to push for something far more serious here to transpire here between the two of you, they're going to make it a priority to really kind of pick your brain and kind of see where your head is at um, before they come in. Um and take things a step further here with you is basically what I'm getting. Is basically what I'm getting. They just want to make sure, you know, that the two of you are on the same page. Like, that's their whole MO. Like, they just want to make sure that you are someone who can totally see yourself spending the rest of your life with them. Because they know that they can totally see themselves spending the rest of their life with you. But their biggest question is, but can Capricorn? You know, because... They don't want to turn around and say, for example, propose to you and you turn around and say yes. And then, you know, a week later, you're just like, I don't know if I can do this. You know what I mean? Um, that's one thing they don't want to, um, yeah, experience with you ever. Um, so with that being said, uh, it kind of looks like... Um, it kind of looks like they're going to like try to pick your brain. So just pay close attention to that. This person might ask you questions like, hey, so like... You know, like, can you honestly see yourself, like, spending the rest of your life with me? Like, honestly, like, can you? Um, and if you turn around and say, yeah, absolutely. Like, this person might, you know, hit you with another question. Like, okay, but, like, why, like, why is it that that, you know, on that one day, you know, in particular, why is it that you said um, that I wasn't good enough for you? Why is it that you said that, you know, you could find somebody ten times better than me? You know what I mean? Like, why is it that you made me feel like this? Why is it that you made me feel like that, you know? If you really can see yourself spending the rest of your life with me, why would you say those things to me? Or why would you even make me feel that way? Um, and, and just just know that it's stemming, it, all of this is kind of stemming from a place of them trying to kind of get a feel for you and kind of pick your brain just a little bit, just to kind of see where your head is at before they come in and, you know, take things a step further here with you. They just want to make sure that you guys are on the same page here with one another. How does Capricorn currently feel? Okay. All right. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Four of Pentacles. And then we also have the Ace of Cups. 
Okay. So Capricorn, in regards to how you're currently feeling, um, I feel like there's times where you find yourself overthinking things within your relationship with this person. I feel like there's times where you feel like, um, you know, you have to be very guarded uh, towards them within this relationship that you share with them. Um, and this could all, you know, all of this could very well be stemming from, you know, previous relationships that you've experienced, you know, that's definitely a possibility. Um, and for some of you, all of this could very well be stemming from a place of fear. You know, maybe you have a massive fear of intimacy and that's why at times your relationship with this person in particular, it could very well be, you know, um, very, very scary for you. Um, that could also, you know, explain why at times you feel like you have to be guarded and you have to be very protective, you know, over your heart, you know, when it comes down to this connection that you currently find yourself in. Um, so, you know, with all of that being said, I feel like it is a constant battle. I feel like it is a constant struggle for you, Capricorn, to remain open and receptive to this person and not allow fear to get the best of you. But there's times where, yeah, fear does get the best of you when it comes down to your relationship with this person. I feel like this is something that you've been struggling with since this relationship started here between the two of you. And it kind of looks like it's something that still tends to kind of occur here, where at times you find yourself overthinking things. At times you, you know, find yourself second guessing everything. At times you find yourself feeling and like, you know, it's not safe for you to fully go there and, you know, things like that. But I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like that's, you know, something that you've been battling with since this relationship has started here, um, between the two of you is kind of what I'm getting. Tell me more about the nine of swords. Okay. We have the moon, we have the six of pentacles, and then we also have the, um, seven of cups. I also kind of feel like this relationship has been very challenging and very, very hard for you. Um, it's because for one, this person is very different from what you're accustomed to dealing with. Um, in other words, it kind of looks like this person treats you 10 times better than anyone has ever treated you before is kind of what I'm getting. So that in itself is going to take some getting used to. And I feel like that in itself has been, you know, a challenge for you as far as like getting used to, you know, dealing with the complete opposite of what you're used to dealing with. If you're used to dealing with, you know, toxic people that don't respect you, um, and the fact that you're dealing with somebody who's not toxic and the fact that you're dealing with somebody who does respect you, like that's kind of new. You know what I mean? You're not used to all of that. Um, I also kind of feel like because this person is so different from what you're accustomed to dealing with, um, but in a positive way, not in a negative way, you kind of found yourself like really questioning um, absolutely everything when it came down to this person. You could have found yourself kind of looking at this person like, mm, I don't know about this one. This one over here looks a little bit too good to be true. They're a little bit too nice to me. I don't know about this person, but I feel like they're just different. They're very, very different from anyone else that you've ever dealt with, but in a positive way, not in a negative way. So not only... Um, did you struggle with having a massive fear of intimacy when it came down to, you know, this person in particular, you were also kind of struggling with, um, yeah, you were also struggling with embracing this connection because of how different they are from what you're accustomed to dealing with to the point where you couldn't help but to question, you know, them and their intentions towards you. And oh man, this is weird. Like, why are they so nice to me? And why do they treat me with the utmost respect? This is weird. This is different. You know what I mean? So it kind of looks like there was a lot of things that you were going through initially at first when this relationship started here between the two of you. And I feel like it's something that you're still kind of struggling with till this day. You know what I mean? As far as like getting used to the fact that they are very different from what you're accustomed to dealing with. So maybe in the past you dealt with a lot of untrustworthy people. Now you actually find yourself connecting with somebody that you can trust. That's going to take some getting used to. So for a lot of you, you may not even fully trust this person. You know, I am definitely getting that for some of you out there. What actions will Capricorn take towards this person or moving forward? So we have the hangman, we got the ten of swords, and then we also have the empress. The bottom of the deck, we do have the five of pentacles with the star to the queen of cups, to the nine of cups, to the nine of pentacles, to the six of cups. One thing, if you don't take absolutely anything from this reading, please, 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 please take this, okay? What you currently have right now in your life, what you currently have right now in your life, this person, your relationship with this person, what you currently have right now in your life is what you used to want. What you currently have is what you used to want, okay? Because you're starting to kind of fall, right? 
Um, and like I said, I feel like it's like a constant battle that you've been experiencing within your relationship with this person. It's like one day you feel really good about this person, where things are heading here between you and this person. And the next day you're starting to overthink things. And the next day you kind of find yourself like, but what if this happens or what if that happens? Um, you kind of find yourself allowing these negative thoughts to basically get the best of you, you know, things of that nature. Um, now you're starting to kind of fall into that energy. Okay, you're starting to fall into that energy, Capricorn. Um, now, with that being said, you got to remind yourself, right? You got to remind yourself that what you currently have is what you used to want. This connection, this person, you know, it brings a lot of happiness and it brings a lot of joy into your life. It brings a lot of wish fulfillment to your life. You know, this is somebody who really does treat you good. This is somebody that you're really, really happy with. I just kind of feel like the more you continue to allow yourself to entertain these negative thoughts, um, the more you find yourself thinking to yourself, right? That you could very well be signing yourself up, right? To get hurt, to get disappointed, um, you know, to get deceived again, you know, things of that nature. So you got to remind yourself of that, Capricorn. Uh, when you find yourself falling into this negative, you know, headspace you got to remind yourself that like no like what you currently have right now what you currently have aka this person is what you used to want you know there was days you know what i mean and i'm pretty sure you can recall those days there, there was days where you know you wanted someone like this in your life and now you finally got that you finally got that stop constantly living in fear stop constantly living in fear capricorn living in fear is not going to serve you whatsoever Living in fear is not going to serve you whatsoever. Stop living in fear. Stop living in fear. Fear is going to always try to stop you, right, from receiving your blessings. You know what I mean? So don't allow fear to stop you from embracing this connection. Don't allow fear to stop you from receiving this blessing that you've been waiting for, that you've been wanting, you know what I mean, for quite some time now. Now that it's finally here... Embrace it with all you got without fear. Don't, don't, don't become accustomed, right, to living in a state of fear. Because the more you live um, in that state of fear, the more you're going to start to essentially realize that it's just not beneficial to live that way in that constant state of fear. You know, it's just not beneficial whatsoever. Stop worrying yourself to death over the, but what if this happens one day and what if that happens one day? Don't do that. Don't do that. I just told somebody this. I forgot who it was because there was somebody else that got a similar message to this. And believe it or not, um, I feel like a lot of people actually go through this in relationships, you know, where they kind of find themselves overthinking things. They kind of find themselves obsessing over the, but what if this happens one day? What, that, what if that happens one day, right? You got to roll with the punches. You know what I mean? You got to roll with the punches. You got to take things day by day um, and, and just trust yourself enough to the point where god forbid right if things were to go left god forbid if things were to go left here between the two of you you will be able to handle it you will be you will be able to handle it all right you will be able to handle it um also trust in the fact that no matter what the hell happens right god forbid let's say this relationship goes you know south here between the two of you god forbid right not only are you going to be able to handle it, but you're going to be able to move past it. Um, and you're also going to be okay. You're also going to be okay. You know what I mean? But don't obsess over the, but what if this happens one day, Milagos, and then what am I going to do? You know what I mean? Like, roll with the punches. Go with the flow. Take it day by day. Because the things that you are worried about that could happen may not happen. You know what I mean? So you're, you're worrying yourself to death for no reason. You know what I mean? You're stressing yourself out for no reason. You're obsessing over the, but what if this happens? What if that happens for no reason? Because that may not happen. You know what I mean? Cause your, your whole thing is, but what if something God awful happens, you know, then what am I going to do? Like, I understand that. I understand that. But what if this could turn out better than you could imagine? What if that what if that, you know what I mean? That's a possibility too. Just like it's a possibility, right? That this could totally blow up in your face one day. You know what I mean? There's also a, a huger possibility that it's probably not going to. You got the star here. You got to keep that in mind. You got the star here. The star, the star is all about following your true north, being on the path that spirit basically wants you on. You're being divinely guided towards this person. You're being divinely guided towards this connection because it's something that could bring a lot of emotional satisfaction to your life. Um, it's something that could bring a lot of healing. 
into your life as well. Um, it's something that's going to help you grow. It's something that's going to help you evolve. Um, spirit is guiding you towards this person for a reason. And it's for the reasons why I already basically mentioned. It's going to bring a lot of happiness and joy and to your life. It's also going to bring a lot of healing into your life. Um, and it's also going to help you overcome a lot of things that you've essentially had a difficult time overcoming um, for quite some time now. Like when it comes down to like your fear of intimacy, that's something that you're going to overcome within your relationship with this person. As far as like obsessing over the, but what if this happens one day? And what if that happens one day? That's something that you're going to find yourself overcoming one day. You're going to find yourself becoming more comfortable with the level of the unknown than you've ever been in the past because the reason why you're doing all of this like constantly obsessing over like the future but what if this happens what if that happens um is because you don't do well in the level of the unknown and oftentimes earth signs typically struggle with that as far as like embracing the level of the unknown is concerned um because they like to just know absolutely everything and what's you know up ahead right earth signs are like known for that is kind of what i've noticed so yeah earth signs typically have a very difficult time embracing the level of the unknown because they just want to know everything they just want to know like you know what's waiting for them up ahead you know what i mean but this connection is going to make you feel um more comfortable with embracing the level of the unknown. Um, this connection is also going to highlight to you that yes, you can sit here and obsess over the, but what if this happens and what if that happens and strategize what you're going to do on your end if God forbid that does happen. Like you can sit here and do all of that Capricorn. You could, you can totally do that. Free will, do what you want, right? However, this connection is going to really highlight to you that You're not in control. You're not in control here. You're not. None of us are. You know what I mean? None of us are in control here. Um, so with that being said, because this connection is going to really highlight to you that you're not actually in control here, it's going to cause you to let go when it comes down to feeling the need that you have to like control things in order to prevent certain things from happening, right? Because if you fill your head up with the, but you know... What if, I don't know, like, what if they cheat on me one day? A lot of you might feel the need to come in and try to place restrictions upon them, try to control them to prevent them from, you know, cheating on you, to prevent you from experiencing being cheated on. You're not in control. You're not in control. You're not in control. You're not in control. Because you can stay here and place all these restrictions on them and do all of this stuff, right? Um... But at the end of the day, right, it's not going to make you feel comfortable. It's not going to make you feel safe. It's not going to make you feel, in, you know, um, secure. It's just not. And this relationship is going to highlight to you that, yeah, you can, you, you know, you could go off and place restrictions upon them to prevent, you know, getting cheated on. Yeah, you could do all of that. But one thing that the universe is going to reveal to you is that, yeah, th this thing that you're doing over here, Capricorn, yeah, it's not it's not making you feel safe and secure, is it? You know what I mean? You place all these restrictions on them and you still don't feel safe and secure with them. Um, and that's just the universe's way of saying, hey, listen, um, stop trying to control the situation. Can you please just go with the flow here? And can you please just remind yourself that what you currently have is what you used to want? And instead of you thinking to yourself, like, man, like, but what if this god awful thing happens? Like, but what if this can turn out better than you can imagine? You know what I mean? Because it totally can. And it kind of looks like it's more than likely going to with these cards coming out here for you. So, yeah, th this relationship is going to highlight to you a variety of different things about yourself. It's going to highlight to you that you have a fear of intimacy from what I can see. Um, it's going to also highlight to you that you like to control things in order to prevent certain things from happening and hope that it'll bring that sense of like that sense of you essentially feeling safe and secure but this relationship is going to highlight to you that you're not in control it's going to highlight to you that you can try to control the situation all you want but in all actuality you're not going to be able to prevent anything that's destined to happen what's destined to happen is going to happen you know what i mean now i'm not saying that this person is going to turn around and cheat on you or anything like that because i'm not getting that vibe off of them whatsoever but one thing that I am saying is, is that even if you were to place restrictions on them because you fear that they're going to cheat on you one day, right? When you turn around and place all these restrictions on them, you're going to turn around and find yourself feeling not so safe and secure still, right? And that's just the universe's way of telling you that you just need to let go. 
You just need to let go. Stop trying to control everything. Stop thinking of, you know, the worst potential outcome to come out of this entire situation. Just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Don't try to control this. Just simply go with the flow here, okay? Because um, it kind of looks like this, this relationship is also going to highlight to you that you like to control things in order to prevent certain things from happening. And even when you try to control those things to prevent, you know, those things from happening, you still don't get that sense of feeling safe and secure. And that's going to freaking bother you. Um, and, and when you hit that point and you start to kind of realize, damn, I still don't feel safe and secure with this person. Like this person, you know, they can't even leave the house. You know what I mean? I still don't feel safe and secure. The universe is going to really highlight to you that it's time. It's time for you to stop. It's time for you to let go. And it's time for you to just... Go with the flow and, and, and don't try to control anything because guess what? What's destined to happen is going to happen anyways. You know what I mean? You can stay here and do all this extra stuff, but what's destined to happen is going to happen anyways. You know, if you guys are destined to work out in the end, this relationship will work out in the end. If y'all are destined to part ways, then y'all are destined to part ways. It is what it is, right? Um, you can't control that and they can't control that. And the universe doesn't want you to hyper focus on that either. Like the universe just wants you to take it day by day. That's it. Um, the universe wants you to embrace the level of the unknown and trust yourself enough to know that no matter what the hell happens here between you and this person, not only are you going to be able to face it, you're going to be able to overcome it and you're going to be able to move past it. Trust yourself enough to know that you're going to be able to face it, you're going to be able to overcome it, and you're going to be able to move past it. God forbid if things do go south here between the two of you. It kind of looks like you have in the past. Kind of looks like in the past you've you've had to face things you didn't necessarily want to face. You had to overcome things you didn't necessarily want to overcome. You had to move past things you didn't necessarily want to move past, but you did it. So have trust and faith in yourself that no matter what the hell happens here, you got you because you do. Because you do, okay? In the meantime, enjoy this connection. In the meantime, stop living in fear. Stop living in fear. Stop living in fear. Don't live in fear. And listen, you ain't the only one that's scared here. Um, and I'm kind of glad that this Ten of Swords energy came out here for this person. Um, which I feel like this is something that you're going to learn from this individual, okay? This person's scared too. You know what I mean? That all of this can totally backfire in their face, you know? Because that's a possibility. It is a possibility. I'm not going to sit here and say, yo, Capricorn, that's not even a possibility. It's not even a possibility. You know what I mean? Because it is a possibility. This can totally go left or this can totally go right, you know? But... That's one thing that I feel you're going to learn from this person, you know, is that even though they don't want this entire situation to backfire in their face, you know, even though they don't want to lose you, um, even though they don't want to ever experience an ending here with you, they know that, hey, maybe that could happen one day. You know what I mean? Maybe that could happen one day. But I feel like this is I'm just choosing to not obsess over that, to not think about that and just choose to live in the present moment which is them just simply taking things day by day you know what i mean and god forbid if in the event right things do go south here between the two of you right they'll face it they'll face it they'll overcome it they'll move past it you know what i mean um obviously you know they're really hoping that it does work out here um between you and them, especially because they're very dead set, you know what I mean, on you and what they want here um, with you. But if God forbid things go south here between the two of you, it does. That's out of their control. Because hell, you know, one day you could decide to up and leave them. You know, that's a possibility, you know. Um, and if you decide one day that you don't even want to be with them anymore, like, that's just, that's just going, that's just going to be something that they're going to have to accept. And you got to also keep in mind, too, that you're dealing with a king. Now, kings... One thing that I've noticed about doing tarot for as long as I have is that it's very rare, like very, I can't emphasize how rare it is for me to see a king bring a marriage or a relationship to an end. It's very freaking rare. It is super rare for me to see that. Um, it's more common, I would say, for me to see like a queen leave a marriage in a relationship. And when I say king and queen, I'm not talking about gender here. I'm talking about energy, okay? Because we all have masculine and feminine energy within us. So even though this person keeps showing up as a king doesn't necessarily make them, um, a dude they can totally be you know a female but it's very rare very rare for me to see a king bring um a marriage or relationship to an end but like i said i feel like this person is just choosing 
to remain optimistic, choosing to remain hopeful, um, choosing to kind of give all that they got to you in this relationship that they share with you in hopes that in the end, it all works out. And if it doesn't, and if it doesn't, okay, you know, at least they can say, you know what, I tried. I tried, I tried, I tried. I gave it my all. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, so with that being said, you're also dealing with a king of cups, by the way, and you're showing up as a queen of cups. Just know that you're dealing with somebody who loves you. Just know that you're dealing with somebody who cares about you. Just know that you're dealing with somebody who's all in when it comes down to you, okay? I think that it's time, Capricorn, that you reciprocate that energy right back. I think that it's time for you to allow yourself to fully go there. I feel like it's time for you to, you know, fully invest all that you have to give without fear. Because fear has been holding you back quite a bit uh, within this relationship. Don't continue to live in a state of fear. Um, fear is just going to rob you of your blessings, okay? And you got to remind yourself, dude, that what you currently have is what you used to want. And instead of you thinking, but what if this god-awful thing happens, you know? You, you should be, you know, thinking... You know, what if this could turn out better, you know, than I ever imagined? Because that's a possibility, too. That's a possibility, too, Capricorn. All right? So, with that being said, stop being a chicken. Um, embrace this connection. Um, and, and continue to proceed forward within this relationship with, with confidence. And trust yourself. Trust yourself enough to the point where, God forbid, if things shall go south here, you're going to be all right because you are going to be all right. All right, so that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helps. Hopefully it resonated and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.